coming for me, Kayla, split. Yeah, you got time, Kayla, you got time. When I first played soccer, it was mainly because of my brother. He needed someone to kick the ball with. And I remember signing up and I hated it. And I played every other sport and found out I'm really good hand and eye coordination. So I was good at basketball, netball, softball. So then when I watched my brother again, I was like, I want to have another go at it. When I did go back, I went back as a field player and then sometimes I went as the goalie and just loved it more when I was in goal. So I just was like, I don't want to be on the field anymore. I'm staying as a goalkeeper. I've liked it since, plus I hate running. Keeper! I think everyone thinks goalkeepers are nuts. Like you're literally getting ball kicked at you and you're copying it everywhere. You might cop in the face, the chest, and you're also then diving on the ground or you're diving at feet and copying a knee to the head or a boot here and there. Mum took a while <laughs> to get used to. And even to this day, she still freaks out sometimes or still makes the comment, do you really want to do this? But I love it enough that I'm like, yeah, I do. And, and it's my passion. So she's all for me chasing my dream. My teammates, they find it weird. They see this passionate goalkeeper at training and then no one's seen me at work. Currently I'm in ortho and urology at St. John of God. I've done travel nursing, general practice nursing, aged care. I've done palliative care. I've also done a bit of fertility nurse too. So I helped with IVF. I always thought I was going to be like, I guess, an emergency responder. Every time an accident or an incident or something occurred, I never ran away from the issue. I always went to try and help. I just enjoyed helping others. It is a very demanding job. You're on your feet the whole time and sometimes shifts can be 10 hours, 12 hours. Sometimes you might even do a double. Most of the girls will see some days I do come tired and I need a coffee and or I need just to have a quick 20 minute nap and then I'm good to go. Other times I'm like, yeah, let's go. Like I've come from a night shift, let's train, like let's do this. I have like the different personalities of this is Nurse Casey and this is normal Casey and then there's soccer Casey. So all of it's different, but I, I love it. it. It's my outlet to soccer. I live between two houses. So this one is in Lara, near Geelong, but I also train with Victory and they have a shared house, which I also live at. So that's my second home. So I do about 50-50 at each place. So it's juggling where I have to go and where I stay the night, as well as what the schedule's like. I've got bits and pieces everywhere. <laughs> the shared house, we have a bit of everyone. It's great. <laughs> everyone has their own personalities which is great there's six of us in the one house and, and luckily the house is quite big as well so I don't think we ever feel like we're on top of each other we also all have our own areas in the house that we can go and chill out and we're very open to that if we want time we need us time like no one will interfere and you can do your thing H, sit in there, sit in there, H. Sit in there, H. Jeff as a coach, he's phenomenal. He's one of those that focuses on the field as well as off the field. And he, and he knows that if the players are happy in every aspect of their life, it will show that they'll perform well. So he's all about making sure everyone's vibe is good, but also too, he knows his stuff. He's very football smart. And being an ex-player himself, he knows what it's like and what you have to give day in, day out. We knew Premiership play obviously kind of went out the window when we started drawing a lot of the games, but we also know we're that team that once we're in finals, our whole mindsets change. We have one goal and that's to hold up that trophy at the end and show that we can do it consecutively each season. As long as you have the right structure, the right work ethic, the right coaching staff, right support, it can be done.